With the introduction of Destiny 2 Lightfall, there's been one solar hunter build that has really slept on. This hunter build gives you almost infinite grenades. I really enjoyed this hunter build for any type of endgame content. In today's video, I'll be covering a fantastic hunter build. After watching this video, you're going to learn how to set up a hunter build that is fantastic for ad clear and does about 40,000 damage to bosses per grenade. And you'll have that grenade about every 10 seconds roughly. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like or subscribe to the channel. With that being said, let's get right into it. Let's start with covering what you want to run on the artifact. Starting with unauthorized mod grenades. This will allow you to put more grenades and it will allow you to also run more things on your armor, which is going to be super important. The next thing we're going to be running is Solar Surge. This will allow you to get Fire Sprite when getting a grenade kill, which will grant you an armor charge. Then you're going to want to run a lot of unraveling, rapid final blows with a strand weapon, grant your weapon unraveling rounds with a longer duration your allies. This is optional, you don't have to run this. However, the one you're definitely going to want to run is multi siphon mods. This will allow you to keep armor charge and then volatile flow. This will be super helpful and you'll see why later on. Now we're going to cover aspects and fragments. First of all, run blade barrage to maximize DPS. Gambler's dodge, triple jump, explosive knife. Then run trip mine. This is the main point of the build. Run on your mark. Then knock them down. This will allow you to get resistance in your super. This is great when it comes to end game activities. For your fragments, you're going to want to run Ember of Torches. Power melee attacks against combatants make you nearby allies radiant. Ember of Ashes. This will make you apply more scorch. Ember of Eruption. This will have increased uh, scorch effect. Ember of Searing. Defeating scorch targets grants melee energy. Then run Ember of Resolve. This will make your grenade kills cure you, which therefore is super clutch. Now, before we cover the mod armor slots, I would like to say we have a sponsor today. Guardians, I would like to recommend you a great service. Deving.net, you can find teams to complete different activities like raids, dungeons, trials of stars, exotic farms, and many more. All the services can be done without account sharing. You don't need to give your login or password. To order a service that you like, you need to choose the sell play option. When you select something that you like, choose your platform. In this case, if you play on PC, select PC. From here, to choose the self-play option, go all the way down and then click self-play. After you're satisfied with what you're going to purchase, add to cart and then click purchase. After finding out what you want to purchase, you're going to want to go to your coupons and type code HECTIC for a 15% discount on all products. From here, type your email so that they can contact you. Then choose a payment method and check out. I'd highly advise this service. The best part is, is you can contact an operator at all times, 24-7. Alright, now let's start with armor mods. For the helmet, run a displant mod with ashes to assets and another ashes to assets. Then let's run dynamo. This will help you keep your grenade. Then run the following mods. Discipline, grenade kickstart, grenade kickstart, blistering detonation. You're going to want to run young Amakara spawn. This will allow your trip mines to get increased duration and damage. Run a Discipline with Charged Up, Charged Up, as well as Harmonic Resistance. For your boots, run Resilience with Stacks on Stacks, Double Innervation. For your uh, cloak, run Triple Bomber. This will allow you to chain your grenade as much as possible. Therefore, you're going to be getting the most out of this build. Now, for weapon suggestions, nothing too specific. I wouldn't advise anything crazy. I like running a Forbearance with Ad Clear, but of course, if you have something like a Callus Mini Tool, try that out. Let me know what you guys think. I would definitely advise to consider using anything but an arc weapon. I use it in this gameplay just to show you guys, you know, how it would look and all. But if you want to run anything separately, you can go do that. Um, obviously, weapon wise, it's mainly just preference. I like running Callus Mini Tool, Wither Horde with Ad Clear and Incandescent. That's super helpful. Try running something like that. In this strike, I just found Ad Clear really annoying. So, you know, I just why not throw the forbearance on. Grenades do give you your grenade back almost every time you get a grenade kill. Now, the cool thing about this build is when eliminating a enemy with your throwing knife, you're going to get it back instantly. When eliminating a enemy with a throwing knife and getting the throwing knife energy, you're also going to get your grenade back. If you hit a boss with your grenade, you're going to get it back instantly. So it's kind of similar to Starfire Protocol in a way. Not exactly. However, it does work in a way that is super unique. 
I personally love this build. Unfortunately, it did get a little bit nerfed with the upcoming, you know, DLC, Lightfall. However, it is still S tier because only because of the seasonal mods as we have Solar Surge now and all the mods that allow us to use bonus mods that pretty much fix this build to how it was prior to the nerfs. If you guys enjoyed today's video, consider leaving a like and having your issue day. Peace.